This tutorial will show you how to create a responsive course with iSpring. Responsive design refers to the ability to adapt layout and configuration to fit different screen sizes and device interfaces. For example, let's see how iSpring adapts this quiz question to a full browser on the left and a smartphone on the right. Note that the background image is not displayed on the smartphone to simplify the design. So if you want an image to show on a smartphone, you should use the Insert Picture button. Without responsive design, this is how the question would look on a smartphone. The text and buttons are so small, the user can't even read them, let alone select them. iSpring handles almost all aspects of responsive design automatically for you. Any iSpring elements you add to your course will also be responsive. Quizzes, dialog simulations, and interactions. Here's a couple of tips to keep in mind when designing the rest of your course. First, go to the Design tab and select a slide size. It's recommended to use the standard size to keep all elements accessible. iPads use a 4 to 3 display and it won't look good if you use a player with a sidebar on widescreen. We'll see the player in a moment. Now go to the Home tab and check your fonts. You should use fonts that are clear and easy to read with no extra effects or flourishes. Also, it's a good idea to use a minimum font size of 20 and keep text on each slide to a minimum. Another thing to keep in mind, especially if your target audience uses a lot of mobile devices, is to minimize animations and slide transitions because they distract from the natural user experience. Now let's go back to the iSpring tab and then click Publish to see what type of player elements will show up. Click Customize to see your customization options. The Universal Player comes with templates for you to choose from. Note that the player will automatically show the necessary course navigation elements on any device, as we'll see in a moment. If you'd rather not use a player, but still would like to include hyperlink navigation in your course, you should make the buttons large and easy to access on the slide. When you're done customizing your player, click Apply and Close. Now go to the Playback and Navigation tab. The best way to ensure smooth navigation on any device is to check all three of these boxes. That way viewers can use gestures on mobile devices and PC users can take advantage of the keyboard. After you're done configuring publishing settings, Click Publish. When the publishing process is complete, a preview window will pop up. As a final quality control check, iSpring offers preview modes for desktop and laptop, tablet, and smartphone devices. Let's take a look at the tablet view. As you can see, all player and course elements are preserved since tablets offer a sufficient screen size to accommodate them. Now let's see the smartphone view. The vertical position offers navigation controls and a slide outline. Users can search the outline and even access extra resources with this button. From the preview menu, you can even simulate device rotation. In this orientation, the user gets a full immersive view of your course. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.